Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about my experience of buying Harry Styles tickets. So he bought, he, well, he, obviously his album came out 12th of May, like, so last month. And he released his tickets for one tour before and then another tour, like, last week. But I wasn't going to film for the first tour. Well, I did have something filmed saying what tickets I got for the first one. But I decided not to like put it up because I'd literally been like, oh yeah, um, I can't tell you about that one yet. But yeah, so I have tickets for both tours. So I'm going to see him at his little theatre gigs and I'm also seeing him as a re at arenas. I'm so excited for this. Um, like I've never really been one to go to as many dates as I'm going to because I've always thought, well, what's the point? But I've been, this time I was like, I'm going to try for like, as many dates as I can get. So I'm going to split this into like two parts. So I'm going to do what tickets I got where and then I'm going to do how I got my tickets. So if you want to, I'll put like a link um, if you don't care about what tickets I got but I'll put like how I get my tickets after and I'll put like a time frame in the description if you don't want to listen to this bit. So I am going to five shows at the moment um, all over the tour. So I'm going to three this is at the moment I'm going to be going to more. I'm going to three um, and his 2017 theatre tour and I'm going to two at the moment for his arena tour. So I'm going to London on the 29th of October, London on the 30th of October and on my birthday on November the 2nd I'm going to Glasgow and um, see him. So I'm taking a plane up there. The second part of the tour I'm going to Basel with my friend. Um, we're going well, that's in Switzerland, so I'm flying over there on my own. Um, I'm meeting her in Zurich, and then we're going to hers and all that kind of stuff. And then I'm also going to London again to see him at the O2 Arena, and oh my god, all my seats are so good. So I'm standing for the first show, I'm circle seated for the second, and then I'm at the back for the third for Glasgow, but I don't care because it means I don't have to get there at stupid o'clock. And also, it also means that I'm not rushing around. Um, and I can kind of take some really good photos because like from the back of an arena you can take or oh, like it's not even an arena, a theatre, you can take really good photos um, as a claim for the front so I'm front to back and then for Basil I am block W and we couldn't find out where there was but we found out where it is and it's at the back by the mixing desk and hopefully the B stage um, but oh my god I'm so excited and then for London I am um, to London 02 on the 12th um, of April, I think. I am A2, so in the middle, um, row P, I think. So I'm right next to, like, I don't buy VIP because I don't see the point in being, buying VIP. And every time I've bought decent tickets, like floor tickets, I've ended up in the VIP section anyway. So that's how, that, that's the point of my, my tip. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to tips. So the first thing I'd say is the first thing I'd say is try and get like a feeling for what sites are selling what. So for Harry's first tour, the only people that were selling him were Ticketmaster and Eventim. So I think yeah, it was the only Ticketmaster and Eventim. So I bought two sets of tickets off of Ticketmaster and one off of Eventim so it's spread out so if someone goes oh yeah there's only a ticket limit of two then for the second tour he sold them over a load of different places so he sold them through AXS, Ticketmaster, Ticket Factory I think I brought off of <laughs> Ticket Everything there's loads of different ticket sites so you just want to research as much as you can um, onto what sites are doing what and like blah 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 then sign up for pre-sale as well because that's always like really good to have because then if you get a pre-sale ticket you don't have to worry about getting a ticket on a, like a sale day so um my second tip is um know what you're looking for so say you want a standing ticket get a standing ticket like but if there's not a standing ticket then find the next best thing so for me i selected standing and floor seating and that brought up floor seating when it came out of um, the best ticket like left even though there were standing tickets but it came out of floor seating 
so I am floor seating instead of standing, which I don't really mind because that means I don't have to run around and queue up at like 2 a.m. Um, so that's very interesting. Um, the third tip that I have for you is don't stress. Um, if you're going to stress, like I usually do, um, <laughs> it's really bad. I'm literally sat on like the site for hours before sale but you don't need to be there until about half an hour before because that's when ticket room like the rooms open um and so you can kind of get away with getting there about half an hour before even to be honest 10 minutes it doesn't really matter um speaking of waiting rooms um number i think is number four but next one is try and get into the waiting room so with axs they open their waiting rooms about half an hour before the general or like the sale goes on so if you're in the waiting room and you can enter all of your information then you can go through all the process a lot quicker than if you're just like sitting waiting for it to open you know what i mean just enter all your info it's so much easier um yeah so everyone says not to refresh so if you're in a queue don't refresh but if there's no queue and it goes like a countdown and doesn't go straight into a waiting room refresh about two seconds before it goes on sale because to be honest i refresh from about two minutes up to about um two seconds to like the minute that it goes on sale so in case tickets come out before so you never know there could literally be tickets out two hours before like they could just they could just randomly release them i've known them to do it like two minutes before the whole event starts so you always want to look and make sure that no tickets around um okay so the most important thing i can tell you if you don't get tickets and you live in the uk a lot of the venues release production seating about two to three months before the show and up to about a week before the show some of them can even release seating on the day of the show so if you want to buy said ticket um that you really really want a lot of the venues release the tickets more tickets because people have been offered tickets and they don't take them so for say for my on the road again sheffield's show which was the last show of the tour of one direction's tour like the last show of one direction basically um well until they come back um I managed to get front row three months before the show so I brought them in August and the show was in October and I managed to get my tickets and I was over the moon because I was literally front row I literally put a photo here so that's where I was sat for on the road against Sheffield and I brought the ticket for I think it was about £65 and everyone around me was like how much did you pay for your ticket and I was like 65 and they were like oh we paid 150 and I'm like oh but yeah, so I was like right between the B stage and the catwalk and the first seat. People tried to push their children in front of me and I was like, ah, no. But yeah, so that's a couple of my suggestions on how to get tickets. Well, especially Harry Styles tickets um, for shows, but for any show it works the same. But remember, production seating is the best thing ever. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video guys, um, and if you're going to any of the shows that I mentioned, um, so any of the Harry Styles shows, comment it down below and you might be able to find someone that's going. I'm so excited. So if you want to, like and subscribe, and I have some covers back, um, I'll link the below as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video.